हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग द वेरी न्यू टॉपिक फॉर द बी कॉम सेमिस्टर सिक्स एग्जामिनेशन एज वेल एज एम कॉम सेमिस्टर फोर एग्जामिनेशन एज वेल एज बी बी ए सेमिस्टर सिक्स एग्जामिनेशन एंड एम बी ए सेमिस्टर टू एग्जामिनेशन विच इज द मेन सब्जेक्ट इज द फिनांस नाउ वी आर डिस्कसिंग वन ऑफ द मेन टॉपिक ऑफ द फिनांशियल मैनेजमेंट दैट इज द कैपिटल बजेटिंग now moving forward to the very brief idea regarding the capital budgeting now i am starting with the very basic and simple meaning of the capital budgeting please forward on that first what do you mean by the capital budgeting that is it is a presentation or estimates now the main meaning is that whether you are estimated or presentation of what that is expected capital expenditure for a future or for a future that means ke jo bhi aapke capital expenditure future mein hone wale hai aap uska ek estimate lagate ho usko hum kya kahenge simple si bhasha mein unko capital budgeting kahenge theek hai next moving towards there is a characteristics of the capital budgeting it will be asked in a four mark or seven mark in theory equation that is characteristics of capital budgeting it is a very simple i just determine the main four characteristics of a capital budgeting that is the first one is a investment for long period that means aap forecast karte ho ki aapka investment agar long period ke liye hai to definitely aapko kaun si technique use karni chahiye capital budgeting now one of the main important is this ke capital budgeting is a technique or method sometimes a few peoples are told that or said that ki it's it is a method no it is not a method it is a technique remember it capital budgeting is a technique not a method so second moving on the characteristics it's need for a proper forecasting that means ke you are forecast something else that means ke you are forecasting your cash flow then you have to it will be the long term process long term period that is a long period so you have to need for the proper forecasting next is no routine decision that means ke ek bar jo apne decision le liya usko aap reverse nahi kar sakte next is difficult in decision making yes some of the main factors aap agar nahi lete ho yahan pe so it may difficult for the decision making so it is a easy to remember that there are the four characteristics first is a investment for long period or long term then need for the proper forecasting then no routine decision and difficult in decision making simple now moving on the few techniques of evaluating the capital investment project so now the very first and basic that is a payback period second is accounting rate of return or average rate of return in dono mein se koi bhi word use ho sakta hai first is accounting rate of return and average rate of return now that is a another is a net present value then profitability index and internal rate of return ye hum pure in depth discuss karenge but just right now the remember there are the main five techniques for evaluating the capital investment project first is payback period second is accounting rate of return or average rate of return and net present value profitability index and internal rate of return remember it this is the most important part for the theory aspects only ठीक है इसका हम प्रैक्टिकल भी देखेंगे कि किस तरह से ये वैल्यूएट होता है किस तरह से कैलकुलेट होता है किस बेसिस पे हम इसको कैलकुलेट करते हैं ये सारा हम देखेंगे कि पूरा प्रैक्टिकल सम हम कैसे सॉल्व करते हैं ठीक है याद रहे दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फर्स्ट द वेरी सिंपल मीनिंग इज इट इज अ प्रेजेंटेशन और एस्टिमेट ऑफ द एक्सपेक्टेड कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर ऑफ फ्यूचर और फॉर फ्यूचर अनदर इज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स देर इज अ मेन फोर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स then technique there are the five technique okay this is the very basic and there is the very important for the theory aspects only now moving on the how to solve the practical sum or a practical problem which may be asked in your examination moving on how to solve sum the very first and basic step is read whole sum carefully ये बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट है क्योंकि हम आधा सम तो पढ़ते ही नहीं है और खुद ही सॉल्व करने बैठ जाते हैं 
अगर आप खुद अच्छी तरह से पढ़ोगे नहीं पूरे प्रैक्टिकल जो भी क्वेश्चन दिया है तो डेफिनेटली आप कहीं पे भी ऐसा पॉइंट जो मेन है वो आप चूक जाओगे यानी कि आप वहां पे भूल कर बैठोगे और वो हाथ से आपके चला जाएगा पूरा तो वेरी फर्स्ट एंड बेसिक एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज यू रीड होल सम केयरफुली प्लीज अच्छी तरह से आप पूरा सम पढ़ ले एक बार और जो भी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट निकल दे उसको आप अलग नोट डाउन करिए ठीक है सेकेंड स्टेप इज अ कैलकुलेशन उसके अंदर फर्स्ट कैलकुलेशन और वेरी वेरी बेसिक फर्स्ट कैलकुलेशन इज कैश फ्लो फॉर ईच ईयर आपको कैश फ्लो डिफाइन करना है क्या डिफाइन करना है आपको कैश फ्लो किसके ईयर का ईच ईयर यानी कि जितना भी जितने भी साल का आपका प्रोजेक्ट है वो आप पूरा कैश फ्लो आप ईच ईयर कैलकुलेट करोगे ठीक है नेक्स्ट इज डेप्रीशिएशन मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इज डेप्रीशिएशन डेप्रीशिएशन याद रखिए मेजरली यहां पे दो मेथड से यूज होता है दो मेथड कैलकुलेट होता है फर्स्ट इज एस एल एम नाउ वॉट यू मीन बाई दी एस एल एम दैट इज अ स्ट्रेट लाइन मैथड एंड अनदर इज अब्ल्यू डी वी दैट इज रिटर्न डाउन वैल्यू मैथड ओके नाउ इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन मैथड देर इज अ फॉर्मूला ऑफ डेप्रीशिएशन इज कॉस्ट माइनस स्क्रैप वैल्यू डिवाइडेड बाय यूजफुल लाइफ जो भी आपकी मशीनरी रहेगी या जो भी आपका प्रोजेक्ट कर रहेगा उसका जो भी आप डेप्रीशिएशन निकाल दे दैट इज कॉस्ट माइनस स्क्रैप वैल्यू डिवाइडेड बाय यूजफुल लाइफ ठीक है डब्ल्यू तो डायरेक्टली हम कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं वो भी मैं आपको प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन जब हम सॉल्व करेंगे उसमें मैं आपको इन डेप्थ दिखाऊंगा कि कैसे हो सॉल्व होता है नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इज फाइंड आउट और कैलकुलेट नाउ मैंने यहां पे वर्ड लिखा है फाइंड आउट और कैलकुलेट क्योंकि सम में कई बार आपको ऐसा बोलते हैं कि फाइंड करो या तो कैलकुलेट करो वैसे दोनों का मीनिंग सेम ही होता है एज सच कुछ डिफरेंस नहीं है ना आपको क्या बोल सकते हैं सर फाइंड आउट में रिमेंबर आपने टेक्निक्स पढ़ी थी पता है यस yes, हमने यही सर अभी देखा ना टेक्निक्स ऑफ इवेल्यूटिंग द कैपिटल इन्वेस्टमेंट कौन सी थी पहली पे बैक पीरियड सेकेंड इज अकाउंटिंग रेट ऑफ रिटर्न और एवरेज रेट ऑफ रिटर्न नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी इंडेक्स एंड इंटरनल रेट ऑफ रिटर्न तो सर यहाँ पे भी फाइंड आउट और कैलकुलेट में यही पूछेंगे कुछ ज्यादा नहीं पूछेंगे पहला क्या है पे बैक पीरियड इट्स डिपेंड ऑन दी कैश फ्लो ये जब मैं आपको सम करवाऊंगा तब मैं आपको इन डेप्थ बताऊंगा कि ये कैसे कैलकुलेट होता है फर्स्ट इज पे बैक पीरियड अब सिंपल मीनिंग देखते हैं पे बैक पीरियड दैट मीन्स वॉट सिंपल आज आपने एक लाख रुपए कहीं पे भी इन्वेस्टमेंट किए है बतौर कोई भी इंटरेस्ट पे ठीक है तो आपको वो एक लाख दैट इज योर कैपिटल इनिशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट वो कितने साल में रिकवर होते ये आपको चेक करने की टेक्निक है तो उसको क्या कहते हैं हम पे बैक पीरियड ठीक है नेक्स्ट इज अकाउंटिंग रेट ऑफ रिटर्न और एवरेज रेट ऑफ रिटर्न दोनों में से कोई भी नाम दे सकते हैं एग्जाम में तो दोनों का मीनिंग तो सर सेम ही होता है उसका बेसिक फॉर्मूला है फर्स्ट एवरेज प्रॉफिट डिवाइडेड बाय एवरेज इन्वेस्टमेंट इन टू हंड्रेड सर यहां पे आपने हंड्रेड क्यों किया बच्चे मैंने देखो यहां पे क्या लिखा है दैट इज रेट ऑफ रिटर्न तो आपको हंड्रेड यहां पे करना ही पड़ेगा ठीक है तो वेरी फर्स्ट एंड वेरी बेसिक फॉर्मूला इज एवरेज प्रॉफिट डिवाइडेड बाय एवरेज इन्वेस्टमेंट इन टू हंड्रेड सिंपल नेक्स्ट मूविंग सर ये एवरेज प्रॉफिट कैसे आता है और ये एवरेज इन्वेस्टमेंट कैसे आता है ये हमें पता नहीं चला कोई भी टेंशन नहीं है उसका भी फॉर्मूला हमारे पास है फर्स्ट एवरेज प्रॉफिट इज इक्वल टू टोटल प्रॉफिट आफ्टर टैक्स डिवाइडेड बाय नंबर ऑफ ईयर सर वेरी फर्स्ट वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन सर ये टोटल प्रॉफिट आफ्टर टैक्स कहां से आया तो ये जब आप यहां पे कैश फ्लो की कैलकुलेशन करोगे तब आपको पता चलेगा ठीक है तो अब मैं आपको दिखा दू कि कैसे हम पूरा ये कैश फ्लो इनिशिएट करते हैं ठीक है आइए ये नेक्स्ट देखते हैं द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ कैश फ्लो फर्स्ट प्रॉफिट बिफोर डेप्रीशिएशन एंड टैक्स या तो आपका सम प्रैक्टिकल जो भी है यहां से स्टार्ट होगा दैट इज प्रॉफिट बिफोर डेप्री एंड टैक्स उसमें से आप डेप्रीशिएशन माइनस करोगे सर ये डेप्रीशिएशन कौन सी मेथड से कैलकुलेट करे तो वो यहां पे दिया होगा आपको सम में आइदर एस एल एम और आइदर डब्ल्यू डी ठीक है जो भी है आपको वो यूज करना है और क्या करना है कैलकुलेट डेप्रीशिएशन उसमें से सॉरी प्रॉफिट बिफोर डेप्री एंड टैक्स में से आप डेप्री माइनस करोगे तो फिर आपको क्या मिलेगा प्रॉफिट बिफोर टैक्स ठीक है सर ये कैसे आया तो सिंपल पहले हमने क्या लिखा था प्रॉफिट बिफोर डेप्री एंड टैक्स अब इसमें से डेप्री चला गया तो बचा क्या प्रॉफिट बिफोर 
टैक्स ठीक है अब उसमें से सर टैक्स भी चला गया तो तो प्रॉफिट आफ्टर टैक्स अब देखिए आपका यहां पे ये यह जो हमने ढूंढा यहां पे प्रॉफिट आफ्टर टैक्स तो सेम यहां पे भी यूज होता है सर टोटल प्रॉफिट आफ्टर टैक्स तो यहां से आएगा कहां से आएगा ये टोटल प्रॉफिट आफ्टर टैक्स तो यहां से सर जो हमने ढूंढा ये अब उसी के से अंदर में बात करता हूं यहां पे आपको ऐड करना है डेप्रीशिएशन जो हमने आगे माइनस किया था यही हम ऐड कर देंगे तो हमें क्या मिलेगा कैश फ्लो अब यहां पे एक बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट जो बच्चे हर एक एग्जाम में ये गलती कर बैठते हो और उनके हाथ से या तो सात मार्क या तो फोर्टीन मार्क्स जितने भी मार्क्स का ये क्वेश्चन पूछते हैं वो हाथ से निकल जाता है ठीक है तो फर्स्ट यहां पे क्या याद रखना है वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नॉट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नॉट कौन सी है सर तो दैट इज इन लास्ट ईयर कैश फ्लो से फॉर एग्जाम्पल आपको बहुत सारे यार यानी कि पांच साल सपोज दिए होते हैं एग्जाम में कोई भी क्वेश्चन में तो पांच साल की आपकी पूरी मशीनरी की यूजफुल लाइफ है ठीक है तो उसके अंदर लास्ट ईयर का जो भी कैश फ्लो आया सर कैश फ्लो माने क्या तो कैश फ्लो माने नथिंग बट इंक्लूजन ऑफ दी प्रॉफिट आफ्टर टैक्स एंड डेप्रीशिएशन ठीक है जो भी कैश फ्लो आया उसके अंदर हम ऐड करेंगे सर क्या ऐड करेंगे तो सिंपल है वर्किंग कैपिटल एंड स्क्रैप वैल्यू आप उसके अंदर लास्ट ईयर के कैश फ्लो में क्या कर दोगे आप ऐड कर दोगे पता चला क्या हमें ऐड करना है रिमेंबर दिस पॉइंट इन लास्ट ईयर कैश फ्लो यू हैव टू एड वॉट वर्किंग कैपिटल एंड स्क्रैप वैल्यू ठीक है देन यू विल बी इवेल्युएटेड द डिस्काउंटिंग रेट जो आपको सम में दिया होगा डिस्काउंटिंग फैक्टर करके देंगे या फिर डिस्काउंटिंग रेट करके देंगे जो भी है वो आपको दिया होगा सम में वो आपको उसके साथ मल्टीप्लाई कर दोगे सर क्या मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे तो कैश फ्लो इन टू डिस्काउंटिंग रेट तो आपको क्या मिलेगा प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ कैश फ्लो उसको हम ब्रैकेट में लिखते हैं पीवीसीएफ प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ कैश फ्लो ये सारा हमने एक्चुअली डिस्कस कर लिया था टाइम वैल्यू ऑफ मनी जब हम पढ़ रहे थे तब ठीक है अब सर अगर ये डिस्काउंटिंग रेट और डिस्काउंटिंग फैक्टर ना दिया हो तो तो मैंने उस टाइम पे बताया था आपको कि प्रेजेंट वैल्यू का फॉर्मूला हमें रखना है वन अपॉन वन प्लस आई इज टू एन याद आया कुछ आई टेन स्टैंड फॉर इंटरेस्ट रेट ठीक है तो मैंने ये आपको बताया दे कि इस तरह से हम भी फाइंड कर सकते हैं सिंपल ये आपको पता चल गया कि कैलकुलेशन ऑफ कैश फ्लो कैसे होता है जल्दी से एक बार रिवाइज कर लेते हैं क्या है प्रॉफिट बिफोर डेप्री एंड टैक्स उसमें से डेप्री माइनस करेंगे तो क्या मिलेगा हमें प्रॉफिट बिफोर टैक्स उसमें से टैक्स माइनस करेंगे तो क्या मिलेगा प्रॉफिट आफ्टर टैक्स देन उसके अंदर एड करेंगे डेप्रीशिएशन तो क्या मिलेगा कैश फ्लो सर कैश फ्लो आया लास्ट ईयर में क्या एड करना है वर्किंग कैपिटल एंड स्क्रैप वैल्यू देन यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई विद द डिस्काउंटिंग रेट देन यू इवेल्यूएट द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ कैश फ्लो सिंपल यस यही करना है सब में अगर ये आ गया तो इजीली सारे फॉर्मूलाज ऐसे ही आ जाएंगे ठीक है अब सर सम कहां से स्टार्ट होता है तो या तो सम यहां से स्टार्ट होगा प्रॉफिट बिफोर डेप्री एंड टैक्स से या तो प्रॉफिट बिफोर टैक्स से स्टार्ट होगा या तो प्रॉफिट आफ्टर टैक्स से स्टार्ट होगा या तो डिरेक्टली कैश फ्लो से स्टार्ट होगा ठीक है ये हमें रिमेंबर याद रखना है ठीक है नेक्स्ट देखते हैं कि नेक्स्ट फॉर्मूला क्या था तो फर्स्ट पे बैक देख लिया हमने डिपेंड्स ऑन कैश फ्लो नेक्स्ट इज अकाउंटिंग रेट ऑफ रिटर्न और एवरेज रेट ऑफ रिटर्न दैट इज एवरेज प्रॉफिट अपॉन एवरेज इन्वेस्टमेंट इनटू टू हंड्रेड नाउ एवरेज प्रॉफिट इज इक्वल टू टोटल प्रॉफिट आफ्टर टैक्स डिवाइडेड बाई नंबर ऑफ ईयर बताओ ये टोटल प्रॉफिट कहां से आएगा सर ये स्टेटमेंट में से आएगा टोटल प्रॉफिट आफ्टर टैक्स ठीक है देन डिवाइडेड बाई नंबर ऑफ ईयर जितने भी साल का आपका पूरा इन्वेस्टमेंट है या जो भी आपका कैपिटल फॉर्मेशन है वो आप देखेंगे नेक्स्ट इज एवरेज इन्वेस्टमेंट इज इक्वल टू टोटल इन्वेस्टमेंट प्लस स्क्रैप वैल्यू डिवाइडेड बाई टू सर यहाँ पे तो हमने माइनस किया था डेपरी में बच्चा ये डेपरी था ये क्या है आपका एवरेज इन्वेस्टमेंट है तो यहाँ पे क्या होगा स्क्रैप वैल्यू एड होगी डिवाइडेड बाय टू नेक्स्ट इज नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू को हम शॉर्ट फॉर्म में लोग एनपीवीपी कहते हैं तो सिंपल है कुछ भी नहीं है पहले पहले दो कैपिटल वर्ड निकाल दिए एन पी वी दैट इज नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू टोटल प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ कैश फ्लो सर ये टोटल प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ कैश फ्लो कहां से आया तो यहां से आया कहां से आया हमने 
यहां से निकाला जो हमने पढ़ा था वो ठीक है तो टोटल प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ कैश फ्लो डिवाइडेड बाय टोटल इन्वेस्टमेंट ठीक है नेक्स्ट इज सॉरी नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू टोटल प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ कैश फ्लो माइनस टोटल इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी इंडेक्स इज इक्वल टू टोटल प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ कैश फ्लो डिवाइडेड बाय टोटल इन्वेस्टमेंट सिंपल यहां पे हम माइनस कर दे यहां पे क्या कर दे हम डिवाइडेशन में ले लेते हैं नेक्स्ट इज ओरिजिनल रेट ऑफ रिटर्न दैट इज एवरेज प्रॉफिट अपॉन टोटल इन्वेस्टमेंट इनटू 100 ठीक है सर एवरेज प्रॉफिट कहां से आया तो ऊपर ही हमने एक फार्मूला देखा कौन सा देखा टोटल प्रॉफिट आफ्टर टैक्स डिवाइडेड बाय नंबर ऑफ ईयर सर टोटल इन्वेस्टमेंट बच्चा वो तो पहले ही इन्वेस्टमेंट तो दे ही रखा है ठीक है सब में नेक्स्ट इज इंटरनल रेट ऑफ रिटर्न अब इसका फार्मूला बहुत ही अच्छा सिंपल है a plus c upon c plus d ब्रैकेट में b माइनस है सर ये क्या है a b c d ये तो हमने केजी में पढ़ लिया फिर से पढ़ो कोई भी प्रॉब्लम नहीं है फर्स्ट इज a plus c upon c plus d ब्रैकेट में b माइनस है सर नाउ व्हाट टू मीन बाय दी a अगर हम बहुत ही भारी वर्ड देखें तो उसका मीनिंग कुछ और हो जाता है मैं आपको आसान सी भाषा में बताता हूं व्हाट यू मीन बाय द a b c एंड d याद रखिए यहां पे ए बी सी डी का मीनिंग अलग होता है पहले आप पढ़ते थे ए फॉर एप्पल यहां पे एप्पल नहीं है यहां पे ए फॉर क्या है जो भी आपका लोअर डिस्काउंटिंग रेट दिया हुआ है वो क्या ए फॉर लोअर डिस्काउंटेड रेट देन बी इज इक्वल टू व्हाट दैट इज सर उससे कोई भी हायर दिया हो ना वो हायर डिस्काउंटिंग रेट सी is equal to or c stands for the npv of lower discounted rate and d is equal to npv of higher discounted rate simple a b c and d not a for apple yahan pe a is equal to lower discounting rate b is equal to higher discounting rate and c is equal to jo bhi lower discounting rate pe aapka npv aaya wo and d is equal to jo higher rate tha us pe npv aaya wo simple एग्जाम में आपको दिया ही होगा दो रेट अगर ना दिया हो तो आपको एक बेस रेट दिया होगा से फॉर एग्जांपल हम लेते हैं बेस रेट इज दैट इज अ 10% डिस्काउंटिंग रेट तो उससे हायर वैल्यू या तो आप 11% पे ले अज्यूम कर सकते हो यार तो 12% पे या तो 13 14 15 उससे हायर होना चाहिए दैट इज योर बेस जो भी डिस्काउंटिंग रेट है उससे क्या होना चाहिए हायर ठीक है दैट इज योर इंटरनल रेट ऑफ रिटर्न सिंपल इस पूरे चैप्टर के अंदर प्रैक्टिकल सम सॉल्व करने हैं तो हमें इतना आना चाहिए सर इतना यानी कितना तो डेफिनेटली इतना यानी कुछ ज्यादा नहीं है देखो हाउ टू सॉल्व सम पहले हमने क्या देखा रीड होल सम केयरफुली ठीक है सर हमने वो तो पढ़ लिया नेक्स्ट क्या देखा हमने तो फर्स्ट इज अ कैलकुलेशन सर कैलकुलेशन में पहला क्या है कैश फ्लो ऑफ ईच ईयर तो कैलकुलेशन ऑफ कैश फ्लो ईच ईयर कैसे आता है तो यहां पे मैंने आपको पूरा प्रेजेंटेशन बताया ठीक है next is depreciation now depreciation how to evaluate there is a two method first is a straight line method and another is a wdv agar sum mein straight line method bola hai to aapko kaun sa formula use karna hai cost minus scrap value divided by useful life okay next agar then you have to calculate or find out the different techniques so techniques kaun si hai हमने आगे ही बच्चा बोला कि यहां पे 7 मार्क में या 4 मार्क में क्वेश्चन पूछेंगे कौन सी टेक्निक है बोलो पहले तो पे बैक पीरियड देन अकाउंटिंग रेट ऑफ रिटर्न और एवरेज रेट ऑफ रिटर्न देन नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू देन प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी इंडेक्स देन इंटरनल रेट ऑफ रिटर्न ठीक है यही पांच टेक्निक और यही सम में आपको पूछ लेंगे ठीक है तो उसका इवैल्यूएशन यानी कि सर फार्मूला क्या है तो हमने अलग-अलग फार्मूला देख लिए ठीक है दिस इज द बेसिक फॉर इवैल्यूएटिंग और कैलकुलेशन ऑफ कैपिटल बजटिंग प्रोजेक्ट और सिंपल से दैट इट्स अ कैपिटल बजटिंग फॉर्मेशन सिंपल याद रखना है मीनिंग कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स टेक्निक्स एंड उसको पूरा प्रैक्टिकल सम है कैसे सॉल्व करते हैं तो आपको मैं ये नोट डाउन करने के लिए थोड़ा टाइम देता हूं आप प्लीज ये इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स नोट डाउन कर दीजिए और सेकंड प्रैक्टिकल सम्स के लिए आपको डेफिनेटली जो भी मेरी नोट्स है वो आपको पीडीएफ फॉर्मेट में जब आप डिस्क्रिप्शन देखोगे तो उसके अंदर एक लिंक दी होगी तो आप प्लीज उसको आप पीडीएफ फॉर्मेट जो भी है वो आप डाउनलोड कर लीजिए क्योंकि ये इंपॉर्टेंट 
आपके लिए ऐसा है कि मैंने पूरे इंपॉर्टेंट सम्स लिए हैं पूरे ज्यादा हम नहीं करेंगे नौ या दस सम ही करेंगे विच इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड यू गेट मोर मार्क्स और अप्रोप्रिएट मार्क्स फॉर पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम सो प्लीज नोट डाउन दिस होल बिकॉज दिस प्रेजेंटेशन इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन और प्रैक्टिकल सम्स ओके प्लीज नोट डाउन थैंक यू Hello friends and now we are starting the practical sum which we solve the practical sum which help to the following step that was a step number 1 read whole sum carefully then calculation of cash flow etc so now it is advised to you first of all please download the pdf which will be described in description and please download and then please solve with me now moving on that pdf in my notes there are question number 5 there are actually total questions is around 10 now i am directly solving question number 5 which is most important for examination so now the first i just read this whole sum first the somnath company limited is considering to purchase a machine there are two machines available remember friend there are the two machines so very the first and basic important point is that there are the two machine machine a or machine b and machine 1 and machine 2 the cost is rupees 8 lakh that is your initial investment also the estimated life of each machine is 5 year then the scrap value is rupees 40000 the company is required 
रेट ऑफ रिटर्न इज ट्वेल्व परसेंट द रेट ऑफ रिटर्न इज ट्वेल्व परसेंट एंड द रेट ऑफ टैक्स इज फिफ्टी परसेंट द एक्सपेक्टेड अर्निंग बिफोर डेप्रिशिएशन एंड टैक्स ऑफ टू मशीन आर एज फॉलोज रिमेंबर दिस इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट द एक्सपेक्टेड अर्निंग बिफोर डेप्री एंड टैक्स सो नाउ योर प्रैक्टिकल सम विल बिगिन फ्रॉम द profit before depri and tax so here i just conclude the important point which i read first your investment or cost is rupees 8 lakh then your scrap value is rupees 40000 number of year is rupees sorry 5 years and rate of return is 12% rate of tax is 50% so now on this basic information we evaluate the depreciation yes or no so depreciation is equal to cost less scrap value divided by useful life so here cost is rupees 8 lakh scrap value is rupees 40000 and useful life is remember friend this is number of year 5 years okay so 8 lakh Minus forty thousand divided five is equal to you get one lakh fifty two thousand. This is your depreciation for whole one year. Okay. Now moving forward, your sum will be start on the profit before depre and tax. So here cash flow calculation year one two three four and five. Why sir? This is five. Before starting with the calculation. it's already mentioned that the number of year is 5 that is 1 2 3 4 and 5 and the two machines are available so here i am calculating only and only machine a okay so machine a is pvdt that is profit before depre and tax here i'm using short form first machine a that is a 5 lakh 20000 then 4 lakh then 3 lakh 20000 Then two lakh eighty. Then two lakh. That is your profit before depre and tax. Remember that my calculation first PPDT minus depre. इसमें से हम minus क्या करेंगे? Depreciation. So depreciation is given. जो हमने अभी calculate किया that is one lakh fifty two thousand. मैंने dash किया है. आपको dash नहीं करना है. आपको पूरा लिखना है. That is one lakh fifty two thousand. then you will be get profit before tax okay pbdt less depre is equal to pbt less tax so tax kitna tax is 50% kis pe lenge 3 lakh 68000 ke seedhe 50% remember it first pbdt less depre is equal to pbt Less tax. Iska sida kitna percent? Fifty percent is equal to PAT. What is PAT? That is a profit after tax. This is the whole calculation. So please be with calculator also. Then PAT is equal to one lakh eighty four thousand one twenty four eighty four sixty four twenty four thousand. Total becomes. Four lakh eighty thousand. Remember why I am calculating and make the total. Later on, I will discuss. Then depreciation. Depreciation already calculated. That is a one lakh fifty two thousand. It will be added, and then you will be get cash flow. Yes or no? Whole calculation is remembered. First, very basic PBT less depre less P is equal to PBT less tax is equal to PAT plus depre is equal to cash flow. Now, most important point is that in last year cash flow you add what scrap value and working capital. Remember, yes or no? I'll take it that important not please. That is a working capital and scrap value must be added in last year's cash flow. Okay, so here profit after tax plus depre is equal to cash flow, cash flow, cash flow. In last year cash flow, we added twenty four thousand plus one fifty two thousand. You will be get one lakh seventy six thousand. In that add scrap value. How much, sir? Here given. How much? Forty thousand. Then working capital is given in sum. No, sir. So zero. So forty thousand 
तो टोटल बिकम्स टू लैक्स सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड सो योर लास्ट ईयर कैश फ्लो टोटल कैश फ्लो इज इक्वल टू टू लैक सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड रिमेम्बर डेट देन डिस्काउंटिंग रेट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सर हियर रेट ऑफ रिटर्न इज गिवन ट्वेल्व परसेंट सिंपल इफ द डिस्काउंटिंग फैक्टर इज नॉट गिवन देन यू हैव टू यूज फॉर्मूला PV is equal to one upon one plus I is two, and here one upon one plus point twelve. Here one, two, three, four, and five. So you will be get the answer. But don't worry, in in this sum is already given. Mention it below. Read. Then select the most profitable machines by the following method. That is payback period, average rate of return, or accounting rate of return, net present value, profitability index, etc. Then most important line is that the present value of rupees one at discounted rate twelve percent for five years is as follow. So in first year they given a zero point eight nine three zero point seven nine seven. Seven one two six three six five six seven. Okay, then simply it's a calculator method. That is a calculate cash flow into discounting factor. That is a three lakh sixty thirty six thousand multiply with zero point eight nine three. Then you will be get present value of cash flow. Okay, now make the total of present value of cash flow. You will be get nine lakh forty seven thousand. 900 remember the most important point is that you have to calculate or added this two point that is pat and pvca present value of cash flow now moving on the different methods or techniques which will be determine for this whole sum first there is a payback period remember whenever they discuss the theory and the whole uh, the uh, determination of these uh, practical sum I'll told that okay that is a payback period is depends on the cash flow okay so now where is my first basic question what is your total investments rupees eight lakh yes or no now we determine when we get back the rupees eight lakh which is our total investment yes or no so here now I am calculating the cash flow depends on the cash flow we calculate payback. Period. Okay. Now payback period. Shallow. If we determine what is your cash flow for first year is three lakh thirty six thousand. Okay. Now in the rupees eight lakh you will be get three lakh thirty six thousand in just a first year. Yes or no? And then in second year it is a two lakh seventy six thousand. Yes or no? So we will add this three lakh thirty six thousand and two lakh seventy six thousand. You will be get six lakh twelve thousand. Yes or no? If we add two lakh thirty six thousand, then it will become more than eight lakhs. Yes or no? So we don't add cash flow of third year. We just add only and only cash flow of first and second year. Okay. So now this is the answer of first and second year is six lakh twelve thousand, which will be denoted two. Years, and also now, what is the remaining amount? That is eight lakh minus six lakh twelve thousand, which will be you recovered in first two years. Yes or no? So simple, eight lakh less six lakh twelve thousand divided by next year's cash flow. Yes or no? That is a next year. Now your next year is which? That is a third year. Yes or no? So here we deduct, so we divided by two lakh thirty six thousand. Remember it simple. Six lakh twelve thousand it's given for the two years, and eight lakh minus six lakh twelve thousand divided by two lakh thirty six thousand. Yeah, then you will be get two point eighty years. Simple, yes or no? Then moving on the second, that is accounting rate of return or average rate of return. Now simple formula. Average profit divided by average investment into hundred. Yes or no? So simple, sir. When we get the average profit and average investment, nothing to worry. We have already the formula of average profit and average 
investment first average profit is equal to total profit after tax divided by number of year so here we have total profit of after tax that is a 4 lakh 80 thousand so we just put it down 4 lakh 80 divided by number of year is how much 5 so that is a 4 lakh 80 divided by 5 then you will be at 90 thousand rupees yes or no next is average investment total investment plus scrap value divided by 2 remember this is scrap value must be added in which formula average investment okay in depreciation we deduct it yes or no here we deduct it and here we add it okay then investment plus scrap value divided by 2 what is your investment is initial basis that is a 8 lakh plus scrap value is 40,000 then 8 lakh plus 40,000 divided by 2 what will you get 4 lakh 20,000 so simplified it 90,000 divided by 420 into 100 then you will be get 22.85 percentage yes or no simple there is a second technique is over now moving on the third that is net present value that is a NPV in short form so net present value is equal to total present value of cash flow less investment now sir here the word is total investment okay so total present value of cash flow is already given that is a 9 lakh 47900 less 8 lakh is equal to you will be get 1 lakh 47900 yes or no next is profitability index simple here you deduct it and here you divide it yes or no the so total present value of cash flow divided by total investment you will be get 1.18 that is a 1.18 yes or no now one other there is not a technique but sometimes it's uh, asked in your examination so this is the original rate of return this formula that is a uh, average profit upon total investment in 200 now average profit is already mentioned yes or no here 90,000 divided by total investment this is your 8 lakh into 100 90,000 divided by 8 lakh into 100 now this is your answer 12 percent now remember just compare it here original rate of return is 12 percent and here also rate of return is given 12 percent that means you get the total benefit and the right answer yes or no here I am just concluding the machine A machine B is due in your homework okay yes or no so simple there is a one question in a homework that is a question number five machine B only machine A is calculated over here now just note down this whole answer and uh, calculate machine B now then after we will be solve the next practical sum okay so, so just write down thank you hello friends now we are moving on the second sum first first i'll read that ankur company is considering to invest rupees 1 lakh 80 thousand in capital project that is a ankur company limited is considering the investment of rupees 1 lakh 20 thousand that means your initial investment is rupees 1 lakh 80 thousand uh, then the expected annual income after depri but before tax now here the very great word great sentence is given the expected annual income that means your profit 
after depreciation but before tax that means what profit before tax yes or no simple what is our method is pv dt less depre is equal to pbt now here given is profit after depre that means ke this point बट बिफोर टैक्स दैट मीन्स यहाँ पे हम टैक्स माइनस कर दे तो यहाँ पे क्या होता है टी ए टी यानी दिस बिफोर दिस इज योर आफ्टर एंड दिस इज योर बिफोर सो मेन पॉइंट इज योर पी बी टी यस और नो दैट इज प्रॉफिट बिफोर टैक्स सो नाउ योर होल सम स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द प्रॉफिट बिफोर टैक्स नेक्स्ट इज गिव ऑन यर वन टू थ्री फोर देर आर ओनली फोर ईयर्स तो आई मैंशन इट इयर्स Four, okay. Then depreciation may be taken as twenty percent on cost as per return down value method. That means here another method is depreciation. Yes or no? In previous sum we solve as per the SLM method, and now we solve it as per the WDV method. Yes or no? That is a twenty percent. So I'll mention it. Depreciation is twenty percent on WDV method. Next is given the company's required rate of return is ten percent. Now your rate of return is ten percent and tax rate is forty percent. You are required to evaluate the project according to each of the following method. First is payback period method, then original investment method that is your original rate of return, then rate on the average investment method that is your average rate of return or accounting rate of return. the net present value and profitability index okay so now here just time firstly calculate what is that is a depreciation as per wdv method return down value method okay remember it then your cost is 1 lakh 80000 less depreciate 20% so based on the 1 lakh 80 you determine 20% that will be 36000 less One lakh forty-four thousand. So now there is a first year depreciation is thirty-six thousand. Okay. Next is on that one lakh forty-four thousand twenty percent depre and WDV same twenty percent depre WDV twenty percent depre and WDV. So here we determine first year, second year, third year and fourth year depreciation. Yes or no, my well friends? Yes or no? Okay. So now we are moving on the calculation of cash flow. That is year one, two, three, and four. Your sum will be start on the PBT profit before tax is already given ninety thousand, seventy two thousand, fifty four thousand, and thirty six thousand. Less taxation that is a forty percent rate ninety thousand, forty percent, thirty six thousand. Yes or no is equal to PAT is given. Now we just put it down the total of the PAT. Add depreciation. Depreciation calculated. See that is a first year depreciation thirty six thousand. Second year twenty eight eight hundred. Third year two three zero four zero, and then one eight four three two. Yes or no? So here the most important point is calculation of depreciation. Now you will be determined that is the cash flow ninety thousand seventy two thousand fifty five thousand four forty and. Uh, Forty thousand thirty-two. Yes or no? So, sir, here in last year cash flow, you make a one important note that is a working capital and scrap value must be added in last year's cash flow. So here there is a no scrap value and no working capital. So we just add this two point. That is a twenty-one six hundred and one eight four three two. So you will be get four double zero three two. Yes or no? Now in this sum also they are given the present value of rupees one of ten percent discounting rate is as follows that is a point nine zero nine point eight two six point seven five one point six eight three and six six two one that is a irrelevant for the fifth year because our total mention is the only and only four year yes or no so here point nine zero nine eight two six seven five one and Six eight three multiply with and you will be get present value cash flow. Make it the total. Yes or no? This is the basic calculation for that. Okay. So now moving on that, we just calculate what we do first payback period. So payback period is for the two years. Okay. So now our total investment is rupees one lakh eighty thousand. Okay. So in first year. 
90,000 and in second year 72,000 make the total of two this it will be 162,000 okay if we added third one then it will be more than the 180,000 so we'll be we'll don't add it the third year's cash flow okay so for the first two years that is 162,000 okay and total amount investment is your 180,000 less 162,000 which you recovered in a first two years cash flow divided by next year's cash flow that is the next year cash flow is 55,440 okay so you will get 2.3246 years okay this is the first basic technique that is a payback period second is accounting rate of return or average rate of return the basic formula is average profit divided by average investment into 100 yes or no so here average profit is equal to total profit after tax divided by number of years so here total profit after tax will be we determined 1 lakh 51200 so 1 lakh 51200 divided by 4 is equal to 3780 yes or no and uh, then you get 3780 is average profit and average investment is equal to investment plus scrap value divided by 2 here investment is equal to 180,000 plus scrap value no given so there is a zero amount and divided by 2 that is a 90,000 so in simplified we get the average profit and average investment so we put it down in the formula that is a 37,890,000 into 100 you will be get 42 percentage yes or no it's uh, easy next is NPV that is a net present value total formula is a total present value of cash flow less total investment so here we define total present value of cash flow is 210259 less your total investment is 180,000 so you will be get 30259 okay yes or no then moving on the profitability index that is a total present value of cash flow divided by total investment so total present value of cash flow is equal to 210259 divided by 180000 you will be get 1.168 is the answer then the original rate of return or original investment that is the original rate of return is equal to average profit divided by total investment into 100 here your average profit is already uh, we have to calculate that 37 800 divided by total investment is 1 lakh 80 thousand into 100 that is your 21 percent so this is the whole sum which will be described the another second point most important point is here the calculation of depreciation is on the return down value method and also here the sum will be your cash flow calculation start with the where pbt that is profit before tax in previous sum it will be start on the profit before depre and tax and here sum will be start on profit before tax okay so you just copy it down and then we move to the next sum thank you
now we are moving on the next sum which uh, conclude the irr that is an internal rate of return so please come on the sum number 10 that is a raj company limited raj company limited is a considering to invest in a project requiring a capital of rupees 2 lakh that is your initial investment yes or no then the forecast the annual income after depreciation but before tax that means again your sum start from where that is a profit before tax okay uh, to 1 to 10 years is given okay then uh, they conclude it the depreciation is to be taken on the original cost and taxation at 50% of net profit that means ke your tax rate is 50% your investment is 2 lakh and depreciation on the based on the cost that is a 2 lakh is your cost divided by 10 years useful life remember the formula is cost minus scrap value divided by useful life so here there is a no scrap value so 2 lakh divided by 10 is equal to 20000 is your depreciation okay now moving on that they define it the you are required to evaluate the project according to the each of the following method first payback method second npv at 10% discounting factor so remember and underline the most important point point is the npv at 10% discount factor then profitability index at 10% discount factor then accounting rate of return method then irr at 10% discounting factor and 15% discounting factor now remember the formula of irr that is a a plus c upon c plus d bracket in bracket b minus a remember higher rate lower rate and pv of lower rate higher rate yes or no so here that is a defined a stands for the lower rate b stands for the higher rate c stands for the npv of lower rate and d stands for the npv of higher rate okay so we are just first main focusing that we are just concluding the depreciation now moving on the cash flow okay so there are total 1 to 10 years that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay then pvt is already given in sum that is a 40000 30000 40000 35 10 50 30 45 40 40 and 30000 yes or no now tax rate is a 50% so the tax is 50% so based on the pvt we calculate the tax 50% yes or no 40000 into 50% that is 20000 yes or no then you define the whole tax yes or no then pvt minus tax is equal to what pat here minus is equal to pat so 40 minus 20 20 13 minus 15, 15. 40 minus 20, 20. So you put down that the PAT. Remember, you have to make total of PAT. Why? Because it will be help in a defining accounting rate of return or average rate of return. Yes or no? So. And also that they add the depreciation. Depreciation we calculate twenty thousand in all year, so that is a twenty, twenty, twenty thousand. Then you define the cash flow. Yes or no? Remember, in last year you have to add working capital and scrap value. But sir, here there is no working capital and scrap value, so don't worry. You don't add it. Okay. Tax is discounting rate. Up now, sir, at discounting rate at ten percent or fifteen percent. There is a base rate is a ten percent and higher rate is a fifteen percent. So you can you have to calculate at the both rate. Yes or no? So now first we calculate on the ten percent. Yes or no? Ten percent. Yes or no? That is at ten percent discounting rate. Okay. So. If you multiply with it, then you get the PVC F. That is present value of cash flow. Make the total of present value of cash flow. Okay. Now, based on the this ten percent, we define the payback period. Yes or no? So there is a payback period is equal to first. If we total investment is rupees two lakh. Yes or no? Here define it two lakh. So now, uh, how much we recovered? That is a two lakh. But obviously. So then you have to make on the cash flows total. So first, second, third, four, and five. If we add this five cash flow, 
then you will be get 177500 yes or no so there is a 5 years yes or no now 2 lakh minus 177500 divided by next year's cash flow so next year cash flow becomes 45000 yes or no so here you deduct sorry you divided from the 45000 so you will be get 5.5 years that is a 5 years and 6 months okay now moving on the average rate of return that is average profit upon average investment into 100 so here average profit is equal to total profit after tax divided by number of years so we will get the total profit after tax is 1,75,000 divided by 10 by 10 because the total years is 10 only so you get the 17,500 now the average investment is equal to investment plus scrap value divided by 2 so here investment is rupees 2 lakh scrap value there is a no scrap value so 0 and divided by 2 so you will be get 1 lakh you will be get 17,500 and 1 lakh so make 17,500 1 lakh into 100 so you will be get 17.5 percent your ARR that is average rate of return okay now moving on the net present value at 10 percent discounting rate sir why 10 percent discounting rate because here we calculate the cash flow based on the 10 percent discounting rate okay so total present value of cash flow minus total investment so total present value of cash flow is defined here 2 lakh 29 minus 2 lakh so you will be get 21 29621 okay then profitability index number very easy how total profit sorry total pro, uh, present value of cash flow divided by total investment 229621 divided by 2 lakhs so we will be get 1.148 okay yes or no okay now you have to calculate what there is a IRR that is the internal rate of return so you conclude it at the 10 percent so now you moving forward at a 15 percent so just moving on the 15 percent please come on that then here 1 to 10 yes or no here I am directly defining cash flow because cash flow doesn't change whether it is 10 percent or 15 percent yes or no the present value of cash flow will be changed so here I am directly copied it the cash flow but remember you have to calculate the whole sum that is starting from PBT to present value of cash flow okay so now the cash flow is already given then discounting factor 15% rate is also already given so multiply it and you get the present value of cash flow now you have to calculate NPV at a 15% rate so here I calculate that is a NPV at 15% rate total present value of cash flow minus total investment total present value of cash flow is given that is a 186723 minus 2 lakhs so you will be get in a negative answer that is a minus answer so yes at the higher rate you have you already get the negative answer that is not in a positive sense okay so don't worry we take it now sir what is a what is b what is c what is d there is a uh, is it the apple a for apple, B for ball, C for cat, D for dog. No, here A for the lower rate. Yes or no? That is a lower rate is our 10%. Yes or no? Here I mention it, the 10%. That is a lower rate. B is a higher rate. Yes or no? And C is a NPV of lower rate. And D is equal to NPV of higher rate okay so based on this formula you get the internal rate of return a is equal to 10 percent c is equal to 29621 dc is equal to 29621 plus bracket me likha that means it's a minus sign okay there is a negative signs that is a 15 minus 10 so you will be get 13.55 percent okay so here i am concluding the whole technique that is a payback period then accounting rate of return or average rate of return then net present value profitability index and 
internal rate of return so this is the whole and the basic concept regarding to apply in a practical manner of capital budgeting techniques there are total five techniques so here i am just do the whole five technique and do that the practical aspect okay so based on this we just conclude our session here for the particular this capital budgeting practical portion okay now there is a another one or two types of sum is left that is a statement based that is a profitability statement so we are uh, cal calculate in in a next lecture okay yeah thank you very much hello friends now moving on the last part that is a profitability statement on that basis uh, you just uh, conclude your payback period and original rate of return on that basis you have to define which machine should you select for your uh, project okay moving on the sum number 9 that is a raina company is considering a purchase of a new machine which will carry out some operations performed by the laborer underline the word the labor the whole process is performed by the only and only labor so in this sum the main aspect is the only and only labor okay and a and b are the alternative models from the following information you are required to find out first payback period and rate of original investment then after the particulars and machine a and machine b is given in that first uh, the particulars is estimated life of plant that is in machine a that is a 4 years and 5 years and then cost of plant rupees 80000 150000 cost of indirect material 10000 12000 saving in scrap 15000 20000 additional cost of the maintenance 20000 25000 estimated savings in direct wages please underline the whole sentence estimated savings in direct wages ultimately this is your income now in this you have to define what is your income and what is your expense so first that is the cost of indirect material this is your expense then saving in scrap this is your income additional cost of maintenance this is your expense estimated saving in direct wages this is your income okay so now in that number of employees not required and wages per employee is given so you have to multiply it okay then taxation is regarded as a 50% of profit which machine would you recommended and why 
So there are the two two alternatives that is first is the payback period and then is the original rate of return. So based on this two different aspect you determine which machine should you select for this project okay so now i just conclude it with the profitability statement so just come with me particulars machine a and machine b first income less expense is equal to profit before direct and tax so first we have to the define it the what is your income and what is your expense okay then first is saving in scrap that is 15,000 20,000 saving in direct wages I just uh, said that the 100 into 800 and 150 into 800 that is for A and this is for B so this is a total make the total this is your total income less expenses in that expenses the first is cost of indirect material that is 10,000 12,000 then additional cost of maintenance that is a 20,000 and 20 5000 so you have to make the total of total expenses that is a 30000 and 37000 now you have to deduct income less expenses okay so income is 95000 less 30000 you will be get 65000 140 minus 37 you will get 103000 this is your profit before dapri and tax Remember, this is your profit before DAPRI and tax. Profit before DAPRI and tax is 65,000 and 1,3,000. Less depreciation. Now, sir, where is the depreciation? So, you have to calculate your depreciation. In this sum, estimated life of plant is given 4 year and 5 year and cost of plant is given 80,000 and 1,50,000. There is a no scrap value. So, simplified, depreciation is equal to simple cost less scrap value divided by useful life there is a no scrap value so 80,000 minus 0 divided by 4 150 minus 0 divided by 5 so you will be get 20,000 and 30,000 your depreciation okay so now deduct it depreciation writing is there that is a working not number 1 okay working not number 1 20,000 and 30,000 so we will get profit before tax 45,000 and 73,000 now you deduct the tax tax is already is given that is a 50 percent so you may deduct for it and then you get the profit after tax in that you have to add the depreciation so is equal to this is your cash flow okay this is your something like that a profitability statement as well as the cash flow okay on that basis you determine first is payback period and original rate of return or original investment so that is a payback period is equal to investment divided by cash flow my well friends here there is no another bifurcation for the year bifurcation in previous year, there are the bifurcation of the there are the three year four year ten year seven year eight year but here there is only one year so simplified i'll just conclude the one basic assumption on that the payback period is equal to investment divided by cash flow so here investment is rupees 80,000 and cash flow we determine that is a 42,500 okay so you will be get 1.88 that means okay, one year and 88 point okay then the investment divided by cash flow that is a 150,000 that is a 150,000 divided by 66,500 okay so you will be get 2.255 so on that basis only and only the payback period which machine you should select either a or either b yes or no so according to me and according to the principle of this technique the less time which get the our money is we have to select yes or no so here there is a 1.88 that is a machine a should be selected yes or no yes then on the base of the original rate of return average profit divided by total investment in 200 this is your formula here average profit if the average profit determine there is a average profit is equal to total profit after tax divided by number of year here total profit of after tax is equal to 2 2 22,500 divided by 1 so you ultimately get 22,500 same here applied it okay 
So here 22,500 divided by 80,000 into 100. So you will get 28.125 and 24.33 percent. So here which one, which interest rate is higher? So there is a machine A. So ultimately my conclusion is machine A should be selected. Okay. So now here the whole chapter that is the capital budgeting is over and remaining sum is for your homework. So please note down this sum and make homework correctively. If you have a, any doubt regarding this capital budgeting sum or the any practical chapter in the FM or relating to this topic you may contact on my uh, institute number which is already given so please note down it and uh, make sure and happy learning and happy study thank you